Today's July 22nd. Today's quote is entitled, Criticism is Destructive. Srila Bhakti Siddhanta says that rats eat cloth, grain, and other things, but they never produce anything. They only destroy. He compares this to those who criticize others. They only destroy, but do not produce anything of value. I found this quote very interesting. You know, rats, they like to eat cloth. Did you know that? And they like to eat many things, but they don't build, they're not building. They don't go into your cloth shop and, and eat cloth and then create new cloth or, or in any way enhance the situation. They're just destroying things. Maybe they eat pages in your book or eat this or that. Right? So he gave that example that the rats will come in and destroy but they'll never build anything, never create anything, and they compare that to a person who's critical. They're just tearing people down, but in that tearing people down, they're not building anything up. Now, sometimes the devotees say, when, when we speak about criticism, the devotees will say, but what about constructive criticism, or what about criticism that's necessary to rectify a situation? And it's an interesting topic because, yes, if something is wrong, it needs to be rectified. But it doesn't need to be rectified through criticism. Um, there is criticism as a value judgment about something, as opposed to an observation. This is what did this devotee do? Well, he went here, he said this, he did this, he did that. There's no value judgment. It's just this is what he did. Criticism is a value ju judgment. So you have two things: you have observation, which is just observing what happened, and there's no judgment, and then you have criticism, which is a value judgment on what happened this is wrong, or this is not good, or this is very bad, or this is demoniac, or whatever it is. So you're, you're making a value judgment as opposed to observing. This devotee at this time said this, did this, and then he went home. That's the, okay, so that what he did was wrong, and to point it out is not wrong, and actually in many cases it's, it's necessary to point it out. But to make value judgments, or to evaluate the motives of that person, that's wrong because that becomes criticism. And that criticism is what's destructive. It doesn't create a good environment in your own heart. It doesn't create a good environment for the people who hear it. Now, when people hear your criticism, one of the things that it has the power to do is destroy faith. This is the power of criticism. So if I criticize you, other people hear it, and the people who have faith in you as a devotee, as a teacher, as an example, they're going to lose it because that's the power of criticism. So. If we make an observation that so-and-so didn't finish his rounds today because he was very busy, that's, that's not going to destroy faith. That's just what happened. But if I say so-and-so is a very bad devotee, he doesn't finish his rounds, this and that, and you know, then that, that will affect you in a negative way. So obviously there are situations which we have to observe and those situations need rectification. But there's a difference between criticism, which is destructive. Criticism, therefore, means something that's coming from tamaguna. If it's constructive, it's with, if it's without enmity, if it doesn't destroy faith in other people, if it's observation rather than evaluation, then it's sattvic. It's not going to be destructive. So it's an important point to consider. Sometimes we're going to have to say, this is what this devotee did. But, but explain the facts without creating judgment. Then it's then it's a, it's a sattvic way to deal with it. It's not destructive.